Hey guys, welcome back to the show. For today's video um, and the architecture series, I purchased this Pelican case. I made a video about how I made this case custom to my specific use, but the video is extremely long and extremely boring. So I'm just gonna cut it down to how it looks now and what's inside my case. I've already taken this uh, case out for one outing and actually recorded a video, like a video blog shooting architecture. But the problem is I basically screwed up the exposures. I forgot to stop down the lens. So that footage is basically useless. Um, I spent a whole morning out shooting, doing video work and um, large format work, but I totally screwed up the large format work. So I'll get back to it. The weather hasn't been the best either, so yeah. Basically, let's see what's inside this case and how did I configure it for large format work. Uh, bear in mind that when I go out with large format, I try to go as comfortable as possible. I got a Pelican case with wheels because that way I can travel through the city. Usually architecture is never in the countryside, so I didn't need extremely big wheels or a backpack. I'd rather not carry anything on my bag, on my back, sorry. Um, as things tend to get very heavy. Usually my video gear goes in my back, sadly. So yeah, this is the Pelican case. It's a 1510 with foam. And let's see what's inside. As you can see here, it's very packed. We have a dark cloth, which is made by Ebony and is actually extremely lightweight and soft. It packs into nothing. You could probably pack this in your back pocket on your jeans and I love it. It's waterproof, has white material and black on the other side. Awesome purchase. Then we have the wide angle bellows for the Chamonix F1. Also one of the best buys ever. This thing is so small, comes with its own pouch and it just packs on top of the camera, no problem. After that, we have the Chamonix F1 over here. I'm not gonna pull it out. Just fits in there, um, it's on the limit. These dividers are horrible. They'll probably all break, but for now it's working. Then we have four lenses. And um, what four lenses do I take? It depends on the project and what I'm shooting. I was told by a friend that does architecture that you rather have longer lenses sometimes than wider. So my widest lens is a 72 millimeter, which is in the bottom, a Schneider XL 72. Then I have a 135, then I have a one. Uh, 80 from Fuji and a 90 millimeters in a pouch in here. In here we have a light meter which has not only um, reflected or incident uh, meterings, sorry this would be incident meterings, also has a uh, spot metering which for reflected light from one degree to four degrees which is awesome, has a memory, Siconic uh, L608 just in case you guys want to purchase it I'll leave a link below. They don't no longer make this one, but it's still great buy and it's around 200 bucks. Cable release, which I forgot on the last outing, had to come back for it. Also, always try to take a spare. I don't have a spare here because my other one broke, so I have to get another one. Uh, film holders. I'm taking five film holders. I don't want to go too greedy on them because honestly, you never really shoot that much on large format and especially architecture. So this one is probably still shot from the other day five film holders. Here I can also add the extension rail for the Chamonix. And I have a loop, uh, extremely cheap Peak 5X, which I really like. And the box under, I can also take a second loop if I need to. Lens pen here, which just to clean any specks of dust on the lens or anything like that. And um, that works pretty well. As for tripod, um, I highly recommend using something with a geared head, a uh, three-way head but that usually works fine. As you can see, very small setup, very easy to pack again. Um, folds nicely into um, a small suitcase which I can carry on on airplanes. So yeah, that's all for this Pelican case for the architecture series. Gear is ready, film holders are loaded, everything's ready, I just need a bit of time and to not screw my shots and you'll guys have some new content. I'll be making a few more videos of gear that I bought and stuff like that, um, mistakes I've made. Um, but don't worry, there's more content coming, especially going out and about. I've been focused on portraits too lately, which I'll share with you guys soon. So yeah, if you want to hear more, always remember the Architecture Series is going first on Patreon and a month later for the rest of YouTube. 
So thanks for your support. See you in the next video.